Hey, it's Final Four weekend, and do we have any Kansas fans in the audience? Because if so, I have the shoe for you. It's the Adidas Ultra Boost Rock Chalk Pearl White. Sports reference. If you're in Texas like me, it's been springtime for a little while. And you're probably thinking, what kind of shoes am I gonna rock in the spring and the summertime? Well, your sommelier has just the shoe for you. This Ultra Boost 4.0, ah, oh, ah, oh, what a clean colorway. Mm. Right off the bat, this shoe is not white. As the name implies, it is more of a chalk white. I would even call it a very light beige. It's a cool shoe that is also cool and just screams, take me to the beach. Before I get too much into the shoe review, I have to give a holy wow awesome shout out to Sense or Essence. Oh my God, it's Essence. <laughs> S-S-E-N-S-E. -E. I ordered these shoes about 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time yesterday, and they arrived literally less than 24 hours later on my doorstep. Awesome. That might be the fastest shoe I've ever ordered online. So kudos to them. Not an ad, but y'all should go check it out. They still have this shoe on their website. Running out of sizes though, but still, maybe you'll be in luck. Now let's talk about this shoe. It is your Ultra Boost 4.0 Prime Knit Upper. If you like that aero design, if you like how the ventilation holes are just a little bit bigger and, and then they get a little tighter on the toe box and the side, if you love it, you'll love this shoe because there's nothing different about this Prime Knit than the normal 4.0 Prime Knit. It's on that beige colorway that obviously goes all the way around to the back of the shoe. You have your translucent or opaque beige cage. <laughs> beige cage. I don't particularly like translucent cages, but for some reason I will allow it on this shoe. I think it actually works, especially with how it matches the somewhat translucent and opaque heel cup or heel counter. It's also in that same beige chalk white color. This is not matte, nor is it in that what we assume is 3D printed layered heel counter, but it is a smooth, almost pearl type color and feel with that silver in your face ultra boost writing. The laces, are a mixture of that chalk white light beige color and some white, and it leads to white aglets. And I think these white aglets work really well because it goes along with the boost. Speaking of the boost, it is your standard, awesome, fantastic, cushy, more cushy for the pushy white ultra boost midsole. Nothing has changed. It's so good. So, so good. On the medial side, you have your white torsion system that's inside of the boost to keep you from boosting too much. Underneath the shoe, you have your standard white Continental outsole with the Continental logo branding in gray. It's kind of a darkish gray. And then you have your turquoise torsion system in the middle of the shoe. On the inside of the shoe, you have your standard white honeycomb material that sits on top of your white boost. And on top of that sits a light beige or your chalk pearl white insole with your boosty McBoosters and font in regular white. And then underneath your tongue is the boost writing in silver that is directly on top of the information sticker. There's nothing terribly different about this shoe when comparing to other Ultra Boost 4.0s. If you like the 4.0, you're gonna like this shoe. If you don't like it, sorry about ya. I love it. This colorway is outcast. So fresh and so clean. This shoe is definitely gonna see some heavy action in my rotation. This along with the Climate Cools and the new Parley Ultra Boost. Man, this is a good summer for shoes. And because I'm in Texas, summer lasts pretty much all year long. So being able to wear awesome summer colorway tennis shoes 300 days out of the year, that's probably the good news. The bad news is it hits like 115 degrees sometimes. So, ah! you know what? Let's put these suckers on feet.
So what do you think about these shoes, player? Does it remind you of like a spa of linens of a beach resort? I definitely want to take these to a beach. And not like the Gulf of Mexico. It's not a real beach. Ugh. But somewhere where I can have a big drink in my hand, nice crystal blue waters in front of me, and a nice pair of Ultra Boosts. Will it be these? Let's say yes. Now comes the part where I beg for likes and for you to click that red subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and just chill to the next episode.